Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1337, where we have 50 moves to clear out 25 jelly and reach 30,000 points. And the jelly is located under this very thick frosting. Here is the perimeter and everything in here. So this four layer thick and five layer thick frosting. And you might think, how are we going to get through that many layers in 50 moves? Well, we're not. What we're going to do is use this magic mixer, and this mixer is going to propagate chocolate and replace the five layer thick frosting with one layer thick chocolate. Now it does take a few moves to do that. So while this is operating, one, two, and now you'll see it's ready to go, three, boom. While it's operating, we're going to try to make moves up here to take out as much of this frosting as possible. Obviously, we're not doing such a great job because we don't have that ability. Now, if I make some striped candies here, I don't want to hit the, the chocolate or the spawner. I want to try to set that off before um, I get to where the chocolate is, because I don't want anything to disrupt the chocolate or the spawner as it's going. Oh, can't quite make a color bomb. I don't mind, however, uh, setting up these wrapped candies because they're really helpful in this area. Uh, see, I'm not even going to make that special. I'm not going to make it. What I like to do on this is to work in the periphery, because this column and this column generally are the ones that are kind of left over. Uh, they're the ones that are the most difficult to reach at the end. And so what I'm trying to do is work on the periphery so that when I'm done allowing the chocolate to form, I can then work on, uh, I, I'll already have this somewhat done. I'm pausing because I'm thinking, I kind of need to do this. Even though it's setting up to be right over here and I don't want to detonate it yet. Uh, I will eventually need to detonate and start getting in here. Ooh, that was a good move. I love that cascading. I will have to get here, so it's good to have some things set up. It's just a little bit tricky because I don't want it to go off too soon. But if it does, we'll figure out how that works too. So now see all of that five layer thick stuff that's been replaced? I kind of love that. Uh, I don't know what to do to set, I don't want to set things off. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so now I think it's replaced quite a bit of it. I still have some more to get to along here, but that's okay. I'm going to work on that on my own. Uh, what's going to happen if I don't take care of this next is this chocolate's going to grow up to here, and then it's going to consume what I've got set up. So I've got 32 moves now to take out as much of the chocolate as I can and to take out the spawner now that I've decided I no longer need its, its properties and um, to remove as much of the, f the frosting as I can that's blocking the jelly. Now, if I can't move a make a move directly against this, which I can't, then I'm going to be setting up moves that I can make to take out that spawner. Kind of love that. Oh, I'm going to do this. I know, I see that special. Okay, but I just know how difficult it is to get to that jelly, to get to that frosting and that jelly under that frosting. Now, here I could make another special, but I'm going to strike directly against the spawner. I need to get that gone. And when it goes, it takes out a little bit with it, so that's nice. Okay, so now I have 23 moves to completely eradicate the 15 jelly still on the board. And this is where I'm going to hope to be able to use some specials. Gosh, I'd love to just take out that chocolate right now where it stands. But I need to work uh, more on the frosting that's in the way. And I think I'll be able to get rid of that chocolate. Oh, I can almost make a color bomb here. Could I drop that down just one? Probably. Let's do this. Oh, I got a different color bomb. Now, can I match this color bomb with another special? That's what I want to do. Oh, let's make another color bomb. Huh. I don't know what I want to do. I have almost too many options here. 
I'm going to go ahead and take out all blue. It's going to concentrate the colors. It's going to get me down here. I was hoping it might allow me to um, match this up with another special, but it's just so far down. Okay, at this point in time, I'm in danger of having this consumed. If I hit purple, though, it's going to concentrate the colors again. It's going to bring this down to where it's going to have more effect, and it's going to completely take out all the chocolate, so I don't have to worry about the chocolate menace anymore. There we go. Okay, so let's make another special and bring this right where we need it. We're operating on this end, too. You'll see I'm trying to make moves that go across both ways. Another color bomb, that's nice. A little divinely created one. Let's go ahead and take out all blue. And then we should be able to erase this. Now, this was not an easy task. Even following my strategy, it took me about seven tries to get there. And um, so I don't expect it's going to be easy for you. You can bring in boosters to help you, but remember that you don't want to make any chaos for that um, that magic mixer or evil spawner. You want it to do its work. So you might want to instead save up your lolly hammers and just take out any remaining jelly that might be left over when you're about to um, use your last turn. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.